All right, welcome everyone. Welcome one. Welcome all to a uh, yeah. You know what? I've I've, I've been doing uh, other non crypto stuff. So I've been dealing with my other uh, non crypto businesses. Been going really good. And uh, yeah, there's that. I was actually down in Miami. I was in Florida. It was good. I had a really good time. Uh, man, listen, just like crypto, I did not sleep much. Uh, I was down at uh, one of my buddies' clubs. Um, yeah, I was down at one of my buddy's clubs. It's called Eleven. I don't know if anybody's been down to uh, Miami. If you'd ever get a chance to go down to Miami, hit me up. If you're going to head into Club Eleven, let me know. That's uh, one of my buddy's clubs. We did not sleep much. Uh, then we headed north, had a good time. But I'm back. I'm back. And uh, that's where I'm at. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of uh, kind of what's been going on the vamp world. So the vamp... You know, the vamp, listen, I, 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 I kind of had a murderous call right there. 110,000 contracts opened. I, listen, I did close. I was at a half. This was when we were at 10,000. Um, I did close out 30,000 of this, right? Took 30,000 off the table. I still have uh, 80,000 contracts open right now. So I still have 80,000 contracts open. I'm up in the 6.7 uh, Bitcoin range right now of profit. So it was, a, you know, it was, it was okay. It's, it's all right. You know, while I was on a break, nice little, uh, I don't know, I made like 10 Gs or something like that while I was off. Uh, so it was good. You know, I left, came back, made money. <laughs> it, was, it was great. That's how you do it, right? That's how you roll. So, you know, and I know a lot of busters out there do not like posting their charts, keys, right? But, uh, you know, we're going to have to go over here. We're going to slam that stuff up on the Twitter, you know, and let's paste, oh, paste that up there. All right. There's that one. And there's that one. Eh, not bad. Uh, a small short and made a little AK money. Right? <laughs> show me yours and I will show you mine. Right, I think we'll add one more thing in there. Right, and oh, that's a good one right there. I am the bear wrestler. All right, so yeah, not bad. Little ten k. Little 10K winner right there for me. It's all good. Uh, but we are going to take a look at the charts. I'm going to buzz through the charts. Here's a lot of what I see right now. I see that we are hanging, literally just hanging on support. On the lower time frames, I'm going to come over here to the 12 hour. Look at the 12 hour. This is bullish divergence that's playing out here, right? I mean, if you go down to the four hour charts, you're going to see that we've got like a lot of. Uh, we got a lot of, uh, let's go over and find our four hour charts. Where you at? Come here. Uh, this four hour chart bleeding nine. This baby needs to bounce. You are getting an imperfected nine so far, still on the six hour. Uh, you're still fine. 12 hours, still got more bearish room to run if it wasn't for this bullish divergence that I do see that is trying to play itself out. Like this is, you got to keep an eye on this because you might get a nice big fat bounce. Or, you know, a decent bounce out of this baby. Uh, so what this tells me is I'm, I'm going to have to maybe take a little bit of profit off the table right here on my short ski. And, uh, yeah, just take a little bit off. Maybe reload a little bit higher. See how we play out. I do see us on a bunch of support on a bunch of different charts. Listen, we have not broken over that bearish. We haven't truly broken into a bearish posture yet, okay? 
And I'm going to show you that. So the three-day chart is really my Mamma Jamma chart that shows me the bull bear markets. So you can see, listen, this is all bull market right here. All this bull market by the, uh, the TDI. So this is the bear market right here. Right, this chart does a really good job of calling bearish and bullish market plays. Right now, we've gone all the way up. We did put this kind of a wicked double top in right here on the three day double top ish, let's call it. All right, now we've we're we have support right here, but listen, we've got to hold on. We're on the bottom side of this Bollinger Band here on the three day. This puppy crashes down here into the, I still think we're going to get down to that AK range. Oh, okay, listen, I know we are going to go down to 8K, 8,500. Even if it's just for a poke, a sniff, a moment, a wick, whatever it is, we are going to get down there. We are going to give it that little bitty eeky beaky pokey wokey. And if if it holds, if we get down there in that 88,000, 8,500, I think we got a really, really, really good chance of hoping that that can turn into our, our support and that can take the next run up, right? 7,100s, I, I get worried, 6K. Uh, then you're really a lot of trouble, right? 6K hits and you're in a, you're, you're really starting to rethink where we're at, right? You're going to start to rethink the position you're in and how bullish and bearish you are. Uh, anything lower than 6K, and that would definitely swing me back to being bear, right? I would definitely go back to being bear. Now, this chart really has been kind of the winner for us. I mean, this thing has just played out. This actually has made me happy kind of sitting in my short trade right here. Uh, listen, we, we finally pegged out a red one and I said, listen, I need to see this red one before I can even be fine or happy or, or, or anything in thinking, okay, this is good. This is a market reset. Now I don't like the fact that this, I just want this to pull back a little more, come on back, hit that gap, fill that gap for the, uh, for the, the gap mafia and then we're going to start second cycle, right? Just like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We're here. Phase one of this bull run. You know, you just got to hold. And this is going to be a nice bull run still. Uh, listen, this double top formation on the weekly. We called this one. It wasn't even a double top. It played out perfectly. Line hasn't changed. Arrow hasn't changed. Go back if you're a member. This is so easy. Uh, listen, I, I mean, you can't get any more bearish than writing this is bearish as F on your damn chart. Okay, this is bearish as F on your damn chart because that's what it is. It's just this is a super bearish stoke. We've watched this baby finally roll over, break into this purple zone, and this has just been bearish. It's what it is. It's it's helped me to have the confidence to hold on to that short trade or open and close those short trades uh, uh, and make those little bounce plays that we've been able to do, right? Now, if you guys are in the group, uh, you guys know that on Ethereum, listen, I called practically the nut bottom on Ethereum over here. Uh, I had Ethereum's going to drop down to two. I closed my short at 201. I, I posted in the members area. It was a perfect short. I don't know. I made like 3000 bucks on that. Closed it perfectly at the bottom at 195 would have been perfect, right? Didn't, 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 I wasn't that good. I give myself an A on that one. Uh, I then expected a bounce 219 to 223. We did have a higher open and close bounce on Ethereum. So let's go over and take a look at that. We'll pull this baby up. So this is kind of, I was looking for this was the bounce. Take a look here. So there's, there's the 201, right? There's the 201. Uh, on that call. Now, this bounced a lot higher, right? I expected this to only come up here to the 223 right here, which was a 12% uh, open. Not bad, 12, 13%. Uh, we actually wicked out on this super nice bearish candle right there. Just beautiful. Would have been really hard to play it. I didn't play it. I wasn't playing it. And then we just circled right back down. So if you would have cut that to 220. It would have been real hard to catch that at 228. Even 223, your stop would have been so hard. I, I couldn't even play this one. This would have been tough. I would have been try I would have literally had to be awake playing this to catch this fall back down, right? Um, so good call on Ethereum. It, it would have been really tough to play that, even for anybody. Even for me, I would have had a really challenging time playing that. Uh, listen, 
I'm still going to go out and say that the shorts are in complete disbelief, right? The shorts are still in, like, no one wants to open a short right now. Nobody wants to open a short. It's just a fact, right? People are absolutely afraid of opening shorts, right? They just are. Shorts are still in disbelief. Right? They're in disbelief. I mean, they are. They're just like, nope, don't believe it. Not going down. Oops. They're just like, nope, this is not going down. <laughs> so they're, they're, they're just, they just don't want to open. And I don't, I'm not saying, I'm saying they are correct. As long as 8,8500 holds, it will be a beautiful position I would hope to get into. I will be trying to scoop up some BTC in that 8 to 8500. In fact, I need to start placing some orders to try to scoop some up. And uh, with pretty tight stop losses under that under that 8000 mark right there, right? Uh, I'll be looking to ladder down. Um, this is kind of, you know, we've broken the chalk and money flows, broken all the trends. We were in this beautiful uptrend in this wedge. In fact, in a bullish triangle right here for a little while, chalk and money flow did fall out on every single exchange on every timeline, but this higher timeline on Bitfinex, go figure, right? <laughs> go freaking figure, you know? I mean, uh, let's, uh, we're going to talk about Bitfinex and in in, in all that the shady shit. Uh, listen, uh, you know, in, in the summary, if you are a member this is very simple, okay? If you're a member in the group and you're reading the summary that I just posted the other day, right? It, it was pretty simple. And where was my summary? Where was my summary? Where's my summary? And do, 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 where'd it go? Hello. Do, 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 do. Boy, that's long, long. Oh, there it is. Okay. So this is my summary, right, based on this chart that we're looking at right here. So we're looking at this chart right here, and just based on the summary, listen, as long as this blue is trending below the 33.3, we are in a bearish mode. We just are. You got to get this blue line up and out of it. This is the God mode. Listen, I, I, you know, you can go find this indicator. It is totally free. I use this on the daily. Uh, if you get a chance, go out and get it. It's the it's the it is it's the funny thing is for Litecoin, okay? So it's the God Mode uh, three point one for Litecoin, but I use it on the Bitcoin charts. So when this bad boy circles up and over the thirty three, then you, we're we're looking good. We're looking good. But as long as it's trending lower than the thirty three point three, uh, it's it's no bueno and it's definitely bearish, right? So so that you know that's just kind of what we've what we're working with here okay we're just kind of really using this chart right now and a lot of our other indicators are just helping us to 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 tell that the short term uh trend that we have right now is still in a bearish mode and until this bounces up and out of here it is going to continue to be bearish okay right so and, and i i think i exp <laughs> I think that's pretty good right there, right? Right? I'm still on the 85, 8 to 8,500 bandwagon. Even if we were to get some kind of a super wicked bounce, but then I, you know, we kind of need a bounce on the shorter time frames right now. On the four hour, on the six hour, we're going to need a little bit of bounce. We still just got to be careful. I, listen, we are hanging on support. As long as we don't lose 9350. Right? I still think there's a very good chance to go back up and fill these gaps up here okay do i think we're going higher no i do not i do not think we are going higher i think we need to go down before we break our all-time high now can we ping pong around in here yeah you know how many memes did we see right uh, you know now you know we saw a lot of memes uh, you know all-time highs and blah 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 I just don't think the only way we're going to get all-time highs right now is on a run on Tether. If someone does something crazy, and we're going to go over that in just a second. Uh, but uh, if we don't get some kind of crazy run on Tether, it, it, it's just we're just going to flounder and die. Okay. Now, before everybody gets all herky-jerky, right? Yes, we did kind of put in a little bit of an inverted head and shoulder. Yeah, it's kind of...
kind of weird. Like it's the shoulder, head, shoulder, knee here. Tough. I mean, you know, can you get the head and shoulder, inverted head and shoulders meme out of this? You can. You definitely can. Um, I don't like to get head and inverted head and shoulders on the top. I like to see an inverted head and shoulders on the bottom of a trend. I don't really like to see it on the top of a trend, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blank this out because I know a million people are just going to be like the inverted head and shoulders meme, right? So shoulder, oops, let's go get a yellow pen, right? So I, I know a lot of people are bing, 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 you know, and, and looking at something possible like this because look, this is support right here, right? This is a support range. And it's so detrimental this this holds. Now, I do think we need a bounce out of here, but I think the bounce is going to go a little bit more like this. I think we have a higher percent chance of this than we do this. And even if we do this, we're just going to do this. So you, you really only have options one and two here. You have bad and worse, right? So you just have bad and worse options, okay? That's really all you got. Um, now let, this is, I'm just going to go to a, a news thing that I want to pull up really quick. And this is really going to be the end of the show, right? Uh, I don't know if anybody had a chance to go over here and see this Forbes article on, uh, Bitcoin right here. So you got this Forbes article on Bitcoin and I have to say, you guys, this is a very important read over here. If you haven't had a chance to go over here and read this article it's a super good article on, um, it's a super good article on, uh, uh, where's it at? Right here. It's a super good article by Forbes uh, on crypto and kind of what they're looking at right now. Let me tell you what, like this article says it all. This article says that a bunch of guys, right? Let <laughs> me say <laughs> The, oh no! I don't want that. Uh, let me let me show you. This is what this article says to me, right? Let's see if we can get this. What? It just frees up on me. All right, hold on a second. Let's see if I can comment on this. Come on, give me a gift. How's that that slow? No. Nope. Oh, no, you know what we need? We need. I think it has two M's in commandos. There we go. Uh, this is not a very co good commando thing right here, okay? Uh, what the hell? the hell dude what is up with twitter what is up with twitter hmm oh this is there we go there we go <laughs> that's exactly what i see right that is exactly what i see right there right uh you know this is this is this is it just that that's it what the hell how come this is not working what is fuck is up with i gotta figure out what the hell's going on with that's crazy. Did that not work? Did that not work? Add gift. Add. Okay, got it. You got to hit add. All right, there we go. All right. So, you know, this is, well, listen, we need regulation is what we need. We need to have regulation. It, it's good for the ecosystem. It, it, it's, we, we've got to come we, we've literally, we've got to come to an end of all of the shady, shady, shadiness that's going on crypto. You know, one thing I got to say, one of the most corrupt things I see is even in the United States, the, uh, the CME, the futures market, I truly believe that the CME market, the futures market is the most corrupt in all of crypto. Right. And I believe it is completely manipulated. And the funny thing is, I think it's it's the people who are manipulating it 
right, aren't even in America, but they're just playing it and they're just absolutely wrecking people with the CME futures, uh, you know, filling these gaps. It's just such a such an absolute scam, and they're just making oogles and oogles and oogles of money, right? Doing this, just scamming people right out of their shorts and longs. Get it? <laughs> out of their shorts and longs. So listen, I do not. I'm not. I'm just not going to change my chart right now. You know, I'm just not. So actually, I, I take that back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my chart to where if we do get a bounce. We, get, we have the possibility of just getting a smaller bounce. I'm going to move my hammer over, right? Move my hammer over. So if we got some kind of a smaller bounce, right? Something like this. But really, we got to hold the support right here. If we don't hold this support, now we could grind this out and then move into this gap and then roll over, right? We could definitely grind into this and then grind into that gap and then roll over. But we are just hanging, hanging, hanging like toenails and balls on support right now, right? And that's it. That's all I got for everybody. I want to say thank you guys all for joining me. Um, listen, I think we have a, we're, we're just at a place. We need a little bit of a reset here. You know, some of our lower time frames need a little bit of a reset. Uh, but we're still trending bearish, right? Watch this trend line. Watch this blue line. If it comes down, we're hoping to see some support down here on this trend line. But listen, this could just get, you know, we could just grind. There's nothing that says we just can't grind this out. Be careful playing alts. I'm the vamp, right? I want to say thank you to everybody out there uh, who's watching the show. Would love to have you give me a click on the like. Love those likes. Love those shout outs. And I am out.